Hey guys, Terry here. You can see the tub project is really coming along. So we've got plans to take that out of our uh, master bedroom here. But it's finally looking like sunshine and spring in Ohio. The snow is just about melted. I'm sure we'll get more snow. It's only the end of February, but it feels so good. So today I wanted to talk to you about um, just a general reminder that it is uh, good for you to scrapbook. Um, I know that um, scrapbooking traditionally is done by us older ladies, but um, it's really important that people capture their memories. Um, I think we live in an age of Instagram and photos being snapped and uploaded into the cloud, but uh, I still find it important to um, capture those memories. So this video is to encourage that you uh, capture those memories. At least capture, you know, just a summary of the year. The holidays, birthdays, maybe a trip. Um, just something that does a snapshot of the year. So um, I think if you save the photos, um, someplace that you have them, not that they're up on somebody else's machine. Um, so yeah, this is just my message. So it was my daughter's and my son's birthdays last week. So I want to um, show you. Now what I do is I download the pictures or I capture them off my phone or my camera. And then I print them with a selfie printer. Um, if I have a lot of photos to print, then I use Snapfish. And I have my photos backed up on Snapfish. But I love this Canon selfie printer. Um, it's a little bit older model. I think there's a newer one um, that comes in white. Um, but this printer works great. It's got a 4x6 paper tray. Um, you can buy a uh, case to take it with you that holds the paper and the extra cartridges. When you buy the paper, the paper and the ink come together. So I love that about it. Now I've got it cabled to my computer so that I can print these birthday photos, but you can also um, just print them from your phone uh, wirelessly to the, um, to the machine. So I love that. It prints really well. And like I said, if I have a lot of photos, then I upload these to Snapfish and print them there. So let me get these pictures printed and then I'll show you how we're going to scrapbook them. Okay, after I have my photos printed, I pick out some paper. Because this is a birthday layout, I found this old Stampin' Up! paper that I've had in my stash. Um, I store my paper in these uh, cropper style uh, little bins, and I've got them uh, by theme. So I pulled out the birthday one and just picked some paper that I thought kind of went with the colors of the photos. This paper is really pretty. I don't know how old it is but it's uh, golds on the back and then um, kind of some red birthday red and greens on the front. Isn't that pretty? So I've cut that paper down to some 6 by 6 size. Um, so I've got my paper ready. And then the next thing that I want to try out is I got um, these mosaics. Um, you might have seen my previous videos on the mosaic papers, but I decided to use this one here. This is called uh, quarter pie and then a piece of pie. It's two different dies, and I'll show you how I'm going to use that to make my layout. So over here I've got the mosaic moments grid paper, and the way it's set up is it has these little squares. 
And then with the dies, you can cut out different shapes and lay it on there, and it just makes your layout come together just super quick. So let me show you um, how we're going to use the Big Shot machine and use these dies to cut out. Oh, I'll just mention too, the dies that I have I store in this iris case. It's for holding uh, greeting cards with dividers, but I find that it works great with these magnetic sheets and I have it inside that tub so I can just flip to my mosaic section and quickly pull that die out. So let's get started cutting out the paper. So this is my first time to use this die. I've cut my paper into 6x6 six six, and I'm just going to put it on my uh, Big Shot. Make my sandwich here with the um, all the layers and crank this through. And let's see what this cuts like. This is the first time I've used this. So here's all the pieces that it cuts. And let's see what this looks like. So I think the idea is that you've got the outside and then you've got the squares, or the squares, <laughs> the slices of pie. And then you also have that, um, let's see, oh, and you've got the piece that's inside the die too. So let me poke that out. Let me get my pokey tool. Grab this here. So this is the part that goes onto the grid paper like that and then it's going to have the different pieces of paper and my idea is because I've got six photos I think I'm going to do um, a photo a piece of paper a photo a piece of paper so I'm going to cut out these different uh, pattern papers and then see what kind of puzzle we can make and then this pie piece is for inside those. So that's what I'm going to use to cut out my um, pictures. So you can see I'm going to have to figure out how to put this on here to get the picture of Brittany. So I'm going to cut those out of each picture and then I'm going to cut this out of each paper. And then I think it'll go together very quickly. So let me cut these out. I'll be right back. Okay, I've got the papers cut out. What I'm noticing as I cut the photos is you do kind of need to plan how it's going to uh, lay on your page. So kind of change your pie piece depending on, you know, how it's going to be laid out on the paper. You don't want to have them all cut out and they're all facing one direction. So I'm just kind of spreading them out thinking that you know, if this picture was going to go here, I'd have to cut it like this. So just do a little pre-planning on what direction that needs to be cut. Okay, I cut those in a variety of directions. And then the other thing that I'm noticing is I think these trim pieces are going to be very busy. So, um... I think what I'm going to do is, because I love the idea of the different pattern papers um, going in between the photos, and the other thing I would suggest is if you've got any pattern paper that is directional, then you kind of have to place those first, and then some of these more generic pieces can go, you know, in any direction. So I would place the ones that, I, and then, I don't know, I mean these... I guess if it had words on it, these shapes seem to not um, have any direction on them. So I guess I wouldn't worry about that. But uh, just something to keep in mind, if it did have words on it, you'd want to have those be in the right, uh, right place. But I think because these are so busy, 
because this is going to be what we use as our puzzle piece to put on here. It's going to go this way, and then that way, and then this corner, and that corner. So I think I want these to be a solid, so I'm going to cut these out of maybe um, a red or a brown or a black. Uh, pull out some color that's in the, um, the paper there, just because I think this would just be too... You wouldn't see it as much, so let me cut those papers out. I decided to go with this green. So I took a 12 by 12 uh, sheet of cardstock and cut it into 6 by 6 and that makes it nice and quick to cut out four of them. So that's really going to pop. Okay, I think we're ready for assembly. So that went pretty quickly. Um, I cut up all the different papers. I cut the photos, keep in mind what direction I wanted to lay them in. And now these are ready to glue down. So let's do the first section here. And what happens is these will line up with the uh, grid lines. And then I think I'm just going to put everything in place before gluing it down just to see what this is going to be like here. So let me lay these down. Oops. This one will be like this. So I need more. I need to bring in more paper. Put this in here. Put this in here. This one here. And then this one down here. And I think the other thing that I realized was when I cut the green, and it did all the pie pieces too, um, I think I'm going to do solid green in the corners with these pieces. Because I think that if I did it with these, again, it would be super busy. I mean, if you had paper that you really loved and you wanted to do that, or if you maybe put this cake piece with that in the corner, but I think I like the idea of really, um, really stressing the pattern paper and the photos and not um, taking away from the corners. So it's pretty cool when you die cut that, you get all the different, um, you know, the different scraps. So I think this went together really quickly. Oh, now how am I missing a picture? Oh, oh I have them off here. That's what I did. Okay. That's how I had to grab another piece of paper. I got these in the wrong order. Okay. So it'll be something like that. So, I love it. I, it went together so quickly. So, um, let me glue that down. Like I said, I cut the photos with this extra pie shape. Um, I think you also, I don't know that you would have to buy this extra piece. It came in handy, um, but to cut your photo, you could just use, um, you know, this is going to cut out this shape. So, um, so I don't know that you have to buy this piece if you just have this, and this one was called quarter pie. So I'll have links on my website. Let me glue this down and then show you what the final page looks like. I'll just show you too. I'm using um, liquid glue on the borders here. And then um, with this grid paper, you simply line it up, make sure you're going in the right direction. And then I'm looking at this square here. Just make sure I've got those lined up on there. And I'm looking across. So it goes on there really easy. And then for the photos, I'm just going to use um, my Tombow tape runner and do that. So I think using these mosaic dies, the... Um, layout goes together super quickly and the supplies that you needed I mean I just needed my photos sheet of the grid paper 
a pack of paper, which could be a 6x6 pad, and some liquid glue and some tape runner. So, and your big shot and your die. <laughs> but yeah, I mean, that's all the supplies I needed, and it went together really quickly. Okay, I've got it glued down, and I went through my stash of stickers and just found a couple small things. There's not a lot of room on the page for um, a great big birthday um, sentiment, um, but you could cut something out. But I just found these cute little stickers here, so I think I'm just going to put it down here. These are little chipboard accents. I never know how to position them here. But just something on the page. And then I'll put a little, uh, one of these could have been a little journaling box too. Another good idea for this layout, I just took, um, with these COVID times, we really didn't do a big birthday party for Brittany. So we just had her over for dinner, and um, I put some pictures of over the years. So I think I will um, make a note on here that it was her 29th birthday, and I think it turned out really cute. Oh, but I was going to say, another good idea I think would be if you had um, a baby's first birthday, and you did uh, the 12 months and had a picture of each baby. That would be really cute for this. But I thought it was cute to intersperse the colorful paper and the photos. And like I showed you, it, it came together really quickly. You're cutting everything with this. You're gluing it down. You got the grid paper. And I think it turned out really cute. So I hope you enjoyed this. Um, like I said, I can't stress enough that you really need to scrapbook. I think you need to capture uh, what's going on in your life and have these memories. So I will have links to the big shot and the dies and the selfie printer and the mosaic website um, for their uh, grid paper and I hope you guys have a great day subscribe if you haven't already thanks